The morning of July the 13th was like all of those mornings when you've waited and waited and waited for something and not quite known what to expect. And so it was very, very exciting and it was very, very hot and it was a bit odd. And finally we got to, to Wembley. I was quite surprised to see a lot of people that I didn't think that I'd really enjoy. I mean, I always knew that Elton John was good, but I'd never yeah. seen him live. I've seen him live. He's got that audience in the palm of his hand. He's unbelievable. You two were the same. Fabulous. Mm. Really good. Like, great performances by everybody. And what did you think of Bowie? Oh, wow. He's great, you know. Were you he's, weeing? I, I, I wasn't weeing, no. I was doing disgusting. Things. No, uh, he's, he's great. You know, the man's just... Brilliant. Did you like the video that he did with Jagger? I think it's stunning. The video is the simplest video I've seen yeah. ever. And the two of them, it just shows like a couple of cocky personalities. And I just thought it was brilliant. We thought about it on, on, on a Thursday night and uh, we read uh, lots of rumours about us doing the satellite thing. Mm. We'd already checked out on that and found out that we couldn't do that because there's at least a half second delay. So, so one of you would have been standing So there. one of us would have been yeah, waiting for the other one to catch okay. up. So we didn't do that. And uh, we just went through a bunch of old songs and thought that dancing is one that we both knew very well. And we went to the studio with some of Prefab Sprout and Thomas Dolby and whatever, and knocked off a record between 7 and 11 on Saturday night. Then we went over to the Dockman's and shot the video for the rest of the night. So we did the whole thing in 10 hours. over too much about it. I think it's great. Everything that you could have hoped for, really. Do you think the audience have been different to a normal concert? It's hard to judge because normally they're there to see one band and for us they're there to see us. So we expect everyone to go bam bam in gaga, you know. But to see everyone getting into everybody totally, it was yeah. amazing. Like, they all did our stuff. They all did what they were supposed to do, you know. And uh, I think it's a very special occasion. Does it have any knowledge of lyrics? Because they actually knew everyone's yeah. songs. I think everyone who's there must be so devoted, you know. Yeah. And um, just a wonderfully good feeling, you know. It was, it was too quick to take it all in. I stood at the side of the stage before I was about to go on. I said, well, just remember every bit, because this is going to be the greatest day in your life, probably musically, in 10 years' time. The new generation of bands come along. And, Were you on that? Did you do that show? I think, but, um, I, think I was more nervous today than I've ever been. <laughs> Nervous. I won't be so nervous in Philadelphia because I've done it to, I've done it once now. But I was a bit nervous because um, you know, I usually the songs that I sing or I sang today, I usually warm up to in the set and I sat to sing cold today and I was worried that I was gonna crack, you know, and then 1.5 billion people that you balls it up. It's a bit embarrassing, you know. So I was a bit worried about that, but once I got the first song out of the way, it was alright. And I've been waiting for this moment for all I, it was like a nightmare. I thought I'd done all that and finished it, and then all come back again. That Did was great. You? It was great. Yeah, but we, it was strange. Unfamiliar stage. I mean, I kept turning on the lights and falling into cameramen and all that, but it was great. Did you ever think you'd all be together again? Uh, to be honest, no, no. I don't decide so we will after this. <laughs> but it was a laugh. Can I? Yeah. This was a cause worth doing it for anyway. And they must have got loads of money just because people are so stunned to see everything. They've probably got a lot of withdrawals. <laughs> I want my five quid Debit, back. they've got a lot of red debits. <laughs> and what did you think of the audience? Do you think it's different from other concerts or do you think...? Uh, well, I've been out there this afternoon and the audience are fabulous. I mean, they're making a, a real party of it and it's fabulous. <laughs> Oh, 
proud. <laughs> Ask me a I'm question. I'm proud, I'm proud, I'm proud, because he's mine. <laughs> uh, uh, brilliant. And what did you think of Let It Be? Was that just incredible? What was it like being a backing vocalist for that? Well, just, there's McCartney, like, beside you on the piano. I couldn't believe it, you know. And uh, my seven times, said, Let It Be, Let It Be. fleet of nine ships has so far carried over 100,000 tonnes of aid to Africa, much of it for other agencies. 73 relief agencies have shipped over 70,000 tonnes of aid on your ships. Nine emergency flights have carried 340 tonnes of urgently required medical supplies and food. 93 relief and development agencies working in Africa have benefited from your donations. Your money has bought for the family victims of Africa 17,000 tonnes of grain, 2,000 tonnes of milk powder, 1,200 tons of sugar, 1,200 tons of vegetable oil, 200 tons of high energy biscuits, 140 tons of lentils, 200 tons of medical supplies and vitamins. Water tankers, 169 lorries, four mobile workshops, 12 land cruisers, 10 pickups, two bulldozers, 200,000 gallons of diesel fuel, 52 tons of plastic reinforced sheeting, 41 hospital tanks. Three clinics, 200,000 hand tools, picks and shovels, 250,000 feeding utensils, 10 tons of tarpaulin, 15 containers of clothing and cloth, 10 farm plows, 150 tons of seed, 200,000 blankets, Three water drilling rigs, 40 tons of water pumping equipment, one and a quarter million pounds worth of vehicle parts and tires, one container full of hospital equipment, the building of one bridge, two vehicle compounds, 250,000 pounds worth of seed, oxen and hand tools. Your money has already been spent in seven countries in Africa. Mozambique, Chad, Burkina Faso, Niger, Mali, the Sudan, Ethiopia. It's the 11th of November, 1985. The dying continues, so the giving can't stop. This is Barbara Midge wishing you all a happy new year again and have a very peaceful Christmas.